Welcome back guys, this is part three of the Camaro Bear Brake Upgrade. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to bleed the brakes and how to hook up the emergency cable or the parking brake cable. So you wanna make sure that your brake bleeder screw is at the top of the caliper and your hose hooked up to the middle of the caliper. Bear recommends using dot four brake fluid. You wanna make sure your master cylinder is full while you're bleeding the brakes. It is recommended you bleed the rear brakes first and you start with the brakes furthest from the master cylinder, which in our vehicle will be the passenger side. We are going to use a vacuum bleeder to bleed the brakes. So basically what this does is it sucks out the brake fluid by putting a vacuum on the brake bleeder screw. I'll hook up the hose to the brake bleeder port and then I'll crack it open and then I'll start sucking out the, the brake fluid. Once you see clear brake fluid coming out and no bubbles, you need to close the port and do the same thing on the driver's side rear brake. The front brakes will be a little bit different to bleed. If your vehicle came equipped with front disc brakes and rear drum brakes, you might have this valve. The valve is located right under, right behind this piece right here. And you'll have to press it in while you bleed the front brakes. So once you press that in and you hold it in, you'll be able to suck the brake fluid out. If you don't press it in, you won't have any brake fluid coming out. You only have to do that for the front brakes. So next, we're going to hook up the parking brake. And I use this cable that I got from Amazon. That's a lot cheaper than the bare cable that they recommend and works just as well. I'm gonna run it to the stock location of the parking brake cable. Then I'll pull out the cable, measure the sheath around the cable and then cut it to length. So once we have it set up to where we figure out how long we want it, we're gonna pull all this cable out. With the cable out, we put the sheath up to where we wanna mount it and then we mark that and we cut it. The sheath for the parking brake cable is pretty thick and it has wire inside it. So you wanna make sure you get something strong enough to cut it. So once you cut it, you check fit and put it back into the original mount position. And then we're gonna put the brake cable back into the wire sheath. And we're gonna hook it up to the parking brake on the rear brake caliper. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side and then we're gonna remove this old brake cable. And we're gonna reset this parking brake adjuster till it's all the way loose. And then we're gonna use this piece that came with a kit to slide both cables in and then screw them together so they become one piece. So after we cut off the old cable, the old parking brake cable, we're going to route the new cable through the same hooks. And then we're going to join together on the passenger side using the adapter that came with the kit. Pull both of the sides of the cable as tight as you can and then tighten them down, turn down the allen screws. And then you apply the parking brake and check your brakes to see if they stop. If they don't, you can adjust your adjuster and making the parking cable tighter. And then check again to make sure the parking brake holds. You want to get to a point where when you apply the parking brake, the wheels don't move. But when you release the parking brake, there's very minimum drag on it. If this is your first time on my channel, I make no BS how-to videos and mostly focus on Alice swaps. If you like these videos and want to support me, you can always go to my website and purchase merch, including this new shirt that's dropping this Friday. Make sure you all subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.